Well, what up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. In uh, in all fairness of full uh, transparency, we're taking her apart again. Um, I'm trying to point over there. Uh, we got a few issues. Let me show you. So, if I go underneath the car, excuse me while I roll around, you will see that that rear main seal is just leaking bad. Now I noticed this on the old motor, it was doing the same thing. Now this rear main seal and this motor is brand new. Uh, I started the car once, ran it for about 30 seconds, shut it off, and it flung oil and dripped oil everywhere. And upon further investigation, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, look at how close the flywheel is to the oil pan. It's awfully close, uh, too close actually. Normally you can see through there. Um, problem is, there's a space, this is an old school, really old, like 15 year old at least, Clutch Masters twin disc that we had for our race car. Um, the problem is, is that they didn't have all the measurements and stuff worked out back then. They used a spacer behind the flywheel to space this out. Well. My problem is, is when we rebuilt the other motor, I put a new crank in it, and that spacer is probably stuck on the old crank somewhere back at PFI. Um, rather than get that spacer and continue to use this old school flywheel, um, luckily my wife's in California right now, and she's gonna go to Clutch Masters and pick me up a new flywheel on her way home. So I should have one tomorrow. In the meantime, we are going to rip this car apart again for the uh, at least fifth or sixth time. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the transmission out. I may be able to just pull it back. Eh, I'm just going to drop it out. I'll move the torsion or the uh, traction bar, and uh, I got to disconnect the shift linkage, the rear motor mounts, take the axles out, half shaft out, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing out again. So stick around, guys. We're pulling a tranny. Are we on the air? <laughs> Rut row. All right, well, just like that, transmission is out and on the floor. Uh, we're gonna pull it out of the way, pull that clutch off, pull the flywheel off. Well, we're gonna have to replace the remain seal and uh, figure out the spacing on that flywheel. Um, like I said, we probably got a new flywheel coming from Cali, so probably gonna do that. And then uh, let's put this thing back together again. Um, like I said, for some reason, this old girl fights me every step of the way, but that's racing. That's what we do. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to pull the clutch off and uh, start figuring stuff out. All right, well, we got the clutch and flywheel pulled off. I'll wipe off the camera for you guys. You can see where the oil was leaking right there. So, that remain seal definitely got grabbed and pulled out. I just pushed it back in by hand. Um, the problem is the flywheel is going too far over the crank and uh, oops, sorry about that guys the flywheel is going too far on, onto the crank it's grabbing that remain seal and yanking on it um, so I'm definitely missing the spacer guys at PFI are going to look on my old crank tomorrow and see if it's there uh, yeah, if you can see the rubbing marks see all this black was from it rubbing on the old oil pan gasket that was in the other motor so same thing definitely missing the spacer so anyhow guys that's going to uh it's going to wrap it up for today i've got the trans pulled out completely cars ripped completely apart again it went from running half an hour ago to tranny on the floor again but anyways uh that's it for today we'll be uh back tomorrow with a uh new flywheel well i showed you guys yesterday that i had this thing all torn apart um it is still torn apart. Uh, today I picked up a new uh, remain seal kit for it so I can get the remain seal in. And I showed you we were having issues with the flywheel. Um, luckily my wife was in California and went ahead and stopped over at Clutch Masters. Shout out to uh, Lonnie and Lewis and the boys over at Clutch Masters. 
always needing, just like PFI, man, always having what I need when I need it. Um, let me sit those over there. Hooked it up with a new flywheel, ARP bolts, so we don't have to use the single cam bolts anymore. New clutch bolts, a couple stickers to go on the car, and a brand new flywheel. So this one should stand off differently than this one. Um, like I said before, yeah, I can actually feel it. You can feel right here the depth from the steel flywheel is a lot deeper. And when you feel right here, there's not much. There's a spacer that goes on here, and I don't know where it went. Um, I'll have to look over at, uh, at my buddy's shop when I, where I took the car apart originally and see if it's over there. But anyhow, we got a new flywheel. They use a steel one now. Um, it doesn't have the replaceable center, which, yeah, you know, is what it is. I can still use this flywheel if I find the, uh, find the spacer for it. And then, you know, again, the reason I like this one is because this is all replaceable. And Clutchmaster still sells these pieces, so you can still buy them. So, all right, guys. Well, tomorrow we are going to get back to work on uh, Che Bella. We'll get the new, the new flywheel and clutch put back in it and get the transmission put back in and get this thing put back together so we can still make, uh, make race week. What a hectic uh, deal this has been. But, you know, that's racing, and That's what happens when you get a race car. Okay, so we got the new remain seal put in. Got the new Clutch Masters flywheel put in with the ARP bolts. And if we go down here, we're gonna see a huge difference in how close that flywheel is to the oil pan. It's way away. My other one, you couldn't see light between here, here and between the uh, oil pan and the flywheel. So I was definitely missing a spacer of some sort. I don't know where it is, what happened to it. But hopefully I can find it so I have a spare. Um, like I said before, you can buy, you can buy this piece freshened up from Clutch Masters, a brand new one that'll bolt right back down on there. So a um, lot of heat, a lot of heat spots from dragging the clutch out in this thing. So uh, we're going to work on letting it go and uh, leaving a lot harder. So anyways. This one's a little lighter, too, than the steel one, but, you know, it is what it is. So, anyways, guys, we're going to get back to work. We're going to get the clutch put on with the new clutch bolts and uh, get this transmission put back in. This car is kicking my butt. Okay, well, we're back at it again. Um, went ahead and pulled the new flywheel off because the old clutch will not work with the new flywheel. They are completely different from the old flywheel to the new flywheel. So that leaves us with uh, no choice at this point in time, but to either buy a whole new clutch setup that goes with that flywheel at over a thousand dollars or make this work. I don't know why this won't work. Um, it's just really close. I thought it was pulling this remain seal out, um, but I think in the old motor, I got so much compression or combustion, you know, so much compression into the motor, uh, into the crankcase that it pushed that seal out. And then on this new motor, um, I pulled the rear main seal out and it was an OEM rear main seal from like a 95 or 98 GSR. Um, so I think maybe that rear main seal was just old and dry. Uh, I put this new one in and I went ahead and pushed it back as far as I could and then silicone it in four corners or four edges to hold it in place. And we're gonna go ahead and stick this old one back on. Um, with talking with Clutch Masters, they said that this one will not, does not take a spacer behind the flywheel. So maybe I was wrong, I'm not sure, but we're gonna go ahead and stick it back on now again and see how close it is to that rear main seal. We also jammed down to O'Reilly's and picked up a new uh, pilot bearing because this one was trashed. All right, guys, well, after doing a little bit more research about this Clutch Masters clutch, and I don't know if you can see the edge of the sticker there that said Clutch Masters on it. Um, this is actually not a Clutch Masters clutch. Well, it is and it isn't. So if you look down here, you can kind of see where it says V-Drive 725. Well, V-Drive 725 clutches are made by Quartermaster, not Clutch Masters. So what I think they did back in the day is they were buying this portion from Quartermaster and 
they might have been putting their own hub centers in it to fit Honda, I'm not sure. And then they were machining their own flywheel. Um, I'm more than sure Clutch Masters more than likely made this flywheel because that is a Clutch Masters part number stamped in the back of it. But they don't make the TDA aluminum anymore. They only make the TDS, which is that one right there, the steel. And the TDA aluminum, it, let me flip this over. This surface area stands up a lot taller than this one does. So had they machined this just a little bit taller, we'd have been okay. But since they, they machined this down so far, um, this clutch will not work on that flywheel. That's just what it is, and there's not much I can do about it. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this one back on the car. I got the new pilot bearing put in it, and um, hopefully it doesn't, uh, it shouldn't pull the remain seal out. So this thing should work just fine. And now I know if I need new discs or floaters or a pressure plate, and I can get them from Clutch Masters in Illinois, or uh, Quarter Master in Illinois. Um, as for the flywheel, Clutch Masters makes this piece still, so I can actually unbolt this and replace it. As long as the flywheel itself doesn't get damaged, I think I'll be okay. So we're gonna get the aluminum one put back on the motor and uh, make sure it's not ripping that uh, rear main seal out. And just to show you how OG my, a lot of my parts are, it's stamped, uh, let me find it here. 03 of 09. This flywheel, this clutch setup was put together in 2009 and it's just finally getting used. Well, we used it uh, during the NHRA Sport Compact days, but. Um, it only had a few passes on it, so I'm going to continue using it and, you know, hey guys, it is what it is, so. All right, we're going to get it put back together. All right, so what I was worried about was this lip. Um, I think this lip was rubbing on the rear main seal and pulling it out. So you can see I siliconed all four corners there and I pushed the seal back as far as I could get away with. Um, now I'm gonna pull out the micrometer here and let's see if I can get my hand in there without you guys seeing my fingers. I'm gonna measure. I wanna know how far this thing's gonna step down into there. So let's turn this bad boy on. One of these three buttons here. Let me zero this thing out so I can measure off the back. So, right there. So, oh, sorry about that, guys. So, what I'm doing is measuring. Oh, shit. Let me show you. So, you can use a micrometer like this. Get my finger out of the camera. How about that? You can use it like this, or you can use it at the bottom like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's make sure we're zeroed back out. Then we're going to stick it down in there like that on the edge and then push that down. So what we've got is 3.7, 3.68, 3 3.7. So let's call it 3.8 millimeters is what it's going to drop in there. So now what we do is just take this, leave it at 3.8. 3.7, 3.7, we've got 8 millimeters to the flywheel. Alright, so we locked it in at 3.8 and we should be able to sit it down right here on the crank. There's no way that that crank should be touching that rear main seal. There's probably 5 millimeters at least, so should be okay. Should be okay to put this one back on. We're going to go ahead and just keep moving forward because if I keep uh, overthinking this, this thing's never going to get put back together. All right, clutch is put back on the flywheel. Everything's Loctited, torqued down, and we're going to go ahead and muscle this transmission back in, finally. All right, well, like I showed you guys just a minute ago, uh, old Bella's about done. No more oil underneath. Uh, all I got left to do is put the catch pan on, uh, fasten the bumper, and put the street tires on the back. Uh, in the meantime, I got a hell of a mess to clean up here. I've got all my spare race week parts down there in that tote, and uh, I got the trailer out. And I'm going to try to do something to make this trailer secure. I think I'm going to go over to Home Depot and get some hinges, and I'm going to make this just get some half inch plywood or something so this lifts up. Well, guys, she's all done. Uh, got her uh, out of the shop, got her all cleaned up. 
gave her a bath, and oh, I got a bunch of bunch of lint on there. You guys check out my uh, my quote unquote new carbon fiber hood. It's got some water spots on it. I need to wash off, but check that out. Nothing like a little vinyl wrap on an old fiberglass hood to make her look all fresh and new. So still got to clean the windows, and then uh, I drove it up and down the street a little bit, and it felt really really weird with the 16s on the front, the 15s on the rear. Just the size difference kind of messes with the all-wheel drive. It does some weird stuff, but anyways, guys, she's all finished up. She's ready to go. Um, we're going to get her loaded up on the trailer over there, and uh, yeah, guys, we'll be off the PFI speed to get this thing on the rollers, give her a fresh tune-up, and uh, be ready for Rocky Mountain Race Week. In the meantime, there's a couple things i got to tune up on the trailer. Um, not that I don't have enough to do already, but somebody had welded these, uh, these tie downs on the back of the trailer at one time, and they used a piece of angle iron. Well, as you can see, this angle iron gets caught under the car on a bunch of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get the sawzall out and get that thing cut off of there. So while we were moving cars around, also uh, had some time to get the bug pulled out here in the shop. So now we got the sand car, the bug, my Chevelle, and then the Honda will go right here. Uh, normally the uh, sand car will end up in the uh, toy hauler, so I'll have some more room in here. So that's it guys. That's a wrap on uh, getting everything ready for race week. Car is loaded and ready to go. Everything's strapped down. Got the uh, trailer strapped down to the tra trailer strapped down to the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna put my full sp size spare uh, here underneath the truck tomorrow. I got almost everything loaded up in the bed that's going to go in the little trailer. I got a spare transmission, transfer case, and my tools that still need to go back here. But it's going to be dark. <laughs> Other than that, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. But uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next video will be us out at PFI Speed in Colorado, uh, getting Che Bella retuned up, and then heading off with the boys to Rocky Mountain Race Week. Make sure you give us a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you next time.